Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 88 of the New York Mets and today we have a game versus the Tampa Bay, uh, they're not Devil Rays anymore, they're just Tampa Bay Rays, but before that we do have the uh, the first year player draft to, to do, so we'll get to that in just a second, a quick catch up though, you can see here looking at the standings, we're doing okay, we, uh, we're back to something, uh, uh, you know, something around our best, uh, we've had a decent enough uh, time of things since last episode, one piece of news to catch you up on that might be of interest, DeGrom is announced or has announced his retirement. Um, so, of course, formerly of our parish, he has he has ended his career. Hitting, it's... <laughs> Suzuki's fallen off a little bit. He's had a bit of a slump, but you can see Griff McGear is, is really kicking on. He's had a good run of form. Home runs have really they've dried up, essentially, uh, which isn't great. Um, RBIs, you can see we, we're, we're kind of we're slowly dropping back. The first month of the season, we were sort of second in most categories in batting. That's all dropping away. Pitching, though, is still it's it's still good. It's kicking on a little bit. Bullpen is a little bit of a concern, but, you know, we'll deal with that uh, if and when we need to. Uh, what do we want to look at here? Let's start with, uh, we'll show you, first of all, the way pitching's been going. You will notice we've called uh, Kenyon Yeovan back, in um, back into the Major League team, and we've dropped down, um, what's his name, Nichols, who we saw last time kind of cost us a, a game last episode. Uh, so we've made that change. Yeovan, I mean, he's not doing... Great, to be honest. Our new closer, Ishmael Aguirre, again, not setting the world on fire. Uh, he's slightly better. Um, if I got versus left and right, he's on here. Uh, he is slightly better. No, he's not. He's terrible. So, have we made a mistake in getting rid of, of Diaz? I'm beginning to think maybe we have. Um, but there we go. You'll notice that uh, Syndergaard has improved. He's got, he's, he's got two wins on the board. His ERA continues to drop, which is good. Um, Stefanovic continues to go in the right direction with his ERA. Harold Cotillo has done okay. Um, you can see three get three starts, not as well as his first start we saw last episode, but doing okay. And Hoffman and Peterson are continuing to, to look 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 the business basically. Um, so that's good. And if we look at the hitting, um, Brickhouse is becoming a problem. Uh, Hiera is not that he's a little bit better, but he's not lighting the world up as his backup. So first base hitting is becoming a slight problem for us. Ben and is still really, really struggling. An on-base percentage of only 260, and I'd like to think his batting average could be higher than that. So that is becoming a little bit of a problem. Otherwise, it's not too bad. Uh, Reese Albert, the new boy, has done okay, but not really against in the world of light. Shepard Newton's doing really well. Griff McGear is doing really well. Um, they're kind of the highlights. And uh, Legend has kicked on a little bit as well, which we kind of expected him to do, I think. Um, let's have a quick look at the results since last episode. Now, we left off uh, the Baltimore game. He did. So, we had a series against Arizona. We won two of three. It was kind of split. There was a, must have been some sort of weather system over New York, I think, because we lost a, ga a game there. Then we lost another game here. Uh, so, we won two of three. It was a very sort of extended out series, though. Uh, in game one, it was another Noah Syndergaard poor start the cost. As you can see there, we were 5 0 down after uh, four in uh, three innings, sorry. And there it is there. Three innings, five earned runs. It just just never got going, did he? Uh, which was a shame, but that was sort of the last of his poor starts. He has kicked on since then, which is he needed to do, basically, because he was... I mean, you'd never take him down to AAA, but he was sort of... Maybe we drop him down to, like, second or third in the rotation. Uh, and then game three here, as will be a little bit later, we did win in the ninth. It was a walk-off Benintendi hit. So Benintendi has done something useful, uh, just not very often. So that's that's a bit of a shame. I had high hopes for Benintendi, and he's not really living up to him, to be honest. Then we played the Giants, uh, and then in Game 3 of this, nothing really the double header there to report, but in Game 3 of this series, we gave up six runs in the last two innings, so we did our best to lose it, um, but what we did have in this one is a Noah Syndergaard home run. Um, where is it here? Home runs, Noah Syndergaard, second innings, got us underway, uh, and it was a win. It was his first win of the season, 5.2 innings, no earned runs, only three hits given up, two walks as well. So, you know, that was sort of the beginning of the comeback, and hopefully... We'll see Syndergaard really, really kick on from here. That's my hope, anyway, for the second half of this season. So after that series, we went and we played uh, Phillies. Now, Phillies, as you can see, are up there in our division. And we won two of three against them. Now, in game one here, uh, what do we have in game one here? We had Chevron Newton with four RBIs. I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see. Chevron Newton with four RBIs. Legend went four for four. And Hoffman, our pitcher, two for two, three RBIs. Absolute star. Hit another. Did he hit a home run? No, I must have been dreaming that up. Uh, but yeah, it just Hoffman is just going strength to strength. Five innings, uh, one hit, one walk. He's just really, really looking the business for us right now, which is good because we do need 
you do need some some good uh, starting pitching, which we've lacked a little bit, uh, to be honest, this season. Um, then in game three here, really, really annoying. We gave up four runs in the eighth uh, from a winning position. So frustrating again. Um, but again, if we have a look down here, see, we can see DeGrom got the win for us. So it was good to see. We'll have one last look at him before he does call it a day. Um, he's a free agent at the end of the season. He's... He's actually doing okay since he moved. Uh, he must have signed for Philly. He's been down AAA, got called up, and he's he's doing okay um, out of the bullpen, it looks like. So so there we go. It was sort of maybe our last look at DeGrom. He got the win, so, you know, we'll give him that one. But, yeah, Iguere uh, giving up, giving a blown save, another loss, and it was just... I miss Diaz at this point. <laughs> oh, I really miss Diaz. But then we played uh, Tampa Bay. And I should say, too, so for the month of May... Eckhorn, I'll show you him in a second, but one of our relief, our sort of our long relief, our emergency starting pitcher, was pitcher of the month for the National League. So that was really, really good. Um, so game two, as you can see, two game series against Tampa. One, one, lost one, which is fine. That sort of is what it is. Uh, so Eckhorn, you can see down here, um, we'll just click on it so you can kind of see all these stats and attributes. Pitcher of the month for May. So that's a really, really well done for him. He's been a, he's been a, decent, uh, a decent bullpen pitcher for us so far this year, which is good. I'll give you a quick look at the expanded standings, and then we'll go and get this first-year player draft underway. You can see there we are. We're second there. We are. It's looking good. We're we're well clear, uh, relatively well clear in the in the wild card race. So we've yeah we faded from our strong start, but we have sort of stabilized a little bit, which is good. And I think that's sort of over the course of a season would tend to happen, won't it? But look at this: Peterson and Eckhorn leading the way. Eckhorn eight wins out of the bullpen. I mean, it tells you something about our bullpen pitching and maybe relative weaknesses at starting pitcher, but Syndergaard's still right up there in war and strikeouts, so he's not having a bad year, it just isn't going for him right now. Um, one other thing actually to catch you up on, I did want to catch you up on, was the all-star voting which has begun. Um, we've got a sort of a first look at this. Now we are, we do have quite a few players right up there in the voting. Uh, at second, is it second base? No, at third base we have Morlock. Now he's two days away from coming back from his injury. Uh, and he'll be back. So he's right up there. At shortstop, Mauricio is up there right now, second in the voting. Um, and then if we go down to right field, we have Seiya Suzuki that's right up there. Starting pitching, we have Syndergaard and Hoffman. And Louis Tejada, somewhat annoyingly, who's decided to come good after a horrible season for us last time out. And then relievers, we have Aguero. Now, I don't know why he's there. And I'm assuming he will drop out the way he's going right now. But... Um, a number of our players right up there in the voting, which is really, really promising. Now, let's go and have a look at this first-year player draft. Uh, we want to continue draft. And let's see what there is available here for us. I'm not... Yeah, I don't really know what we want or need at this point. I mean, pitching is always an option. It looks like that's a good thing because there's a lot of pitches available at the top here. How about, oh, I do just have all pitches. That would explain that. All right. Let's have a look at everybody. He's a good second baseman there, but that's, that uh, asterisk means high school, doesn't it? So that's unlikely to happen for us. Um, he's decent enough as a closer to come straight in, perhaps. Anyway, they're not straight in, but, you know, as within the next season or two. But anyway, let's uh, do like we do, and let's give... Um, now, the one thing, we should get an early pick. The one uh, advantage, I guess, of sucking last year is that we will get... Now, let's see if there's any Australians. Are there any Australians this year? There's a, That's Canadians. That is Venezuelans. So no, essentially, is what we're, we're taking from that. Um, so let's give our scouting director... Uh, let's have a look at his recommendation. We've got Chris Nervous Reynolds. I'm not sure I want the name Nervous <laughs> in one of my, my players. But there we go. If that's what we get from him... I mean, I don't really get the difference in potential rating there. They... they look very similar but he looks like a really really good hitting second baseman so let's um let's get him in uh, involved we'll draft him auto draft is the next pick scouting recommendation we have ken linginger uh what have we got here a first baseman um there's got to be surely some better highly rated potential players what about this is this the, is this the closer i was looking at no it's a different one um I wonder if we get in a look to get in a closer anyway. It says it's extremely hard to get that signing done, though. Uh, another decently enough potential. To, yeah, picture there. Uh, suitability for New York. It doesn't really say. So that mean he is suitable? I don't know. Anyway, let's let's quick game's a good game here. Let's just draft. Let's just draft what uh, what the scouting director says. He's never really let us down in the past, has he? So. Uh, we'll keep going with that. It's a very, very uh, shallow field. We're already down to three-star potential. So we'll, oh, I just drafted a guy without looking at him. 
uh, we got a, it's a pitcher. It's I tell you what, we've lucked out there. He if he lives up to that potential, he could be uh, could be a decent option for us. So that's good to see. Eric Dodge will go again. Scouting recommendation: Latrell Jennifer. Uh, that's he's had a tough life, hasn't he? With names a name like Jennifer is the last name. But then we get Jenny. I tell you what, Jenny's not bad. Good decent hit. I'm assuming the fielding will improve over time. So let's get Latrell in. Uh, and go again here. We won't go with this for too long. Ken Dickinson. Uh, we've got a third baseman. We're really getting the the positions, aren't we? The position players this year. Uh, not going very heavy on the pitchers at all. Uh, I mean, we'll, I'm not convinced we're going to keep him, to be honest. But we'll draft him in and see what happens. Uh, we'll probably do one or two more. Now that these, uh, these potential ratings are getting a little bit low. Mick Lee. Love the name. Uh, we've got another third baseman. Not much gap power. Decent at avoiding getting out. He's a decent third baseman. Again, I'm not sure that we'll keep him, uh, but he might be one we can stick him down in Triple A, and and see if he comes off for us. We'll do maybe one more, and let's see where we're getting. Jerry Low, um, yeah, Jerry Low, low probability of ever playing for the Mets, I'd say there, but we'll uh, we'll draft him in anyway and see what happens. We need to we need to we need to fill out our, our rosters anyway, don't we? It's good to get youngsters in the system. Uh, a starting pitcher, he, if he lives up to potential, he could be okay. But yeah, I don't know there. So we might uh, we might leave it there. I will draft out the rest of the draft here. But let's have a look at the team that we're sending out to face the uh, who are we playing uh, Tampa Bay, isn't it? Let's have who. Try again. Let's see who we're sending out to play Tampa Bay. Okay, and this is the team. Now, we do have designated hitters. I remembered this time. I did forget, actually, in game one of the series, but we managed to win it anyway. So maybe we would have been better off if I just left things alone. But Griff McGear leads us off as the designated hitter. Ronnie Mauricio played second, bat second. You know, uh, Sheffrey Newton plays third, bats third. The legend, he cleans up at center field. It's Benintendi. We're keeping faith with him. He's got to come good eventually. He bats five in left field. Keston Hura bats six. He's at first base. Zia Suzuki bats seven in right field. Adrian Del Castillo, he's the catcher. He bats eight. And Miguel Soto comes in the bat nine and plays shortstop. Uh, Niall, uh, Nolan Hoffman, sorry, he's been on fire for us. He gets the start in this one. And we're up against John Niedermeyer. I know that name. Uh, he is 26. Maybe it's another Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer. That name sounds familiar anyway, but looks like he's decent enough. Uh, whip of, whoa, 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 whip of 2.2 this season. Uh, that's from 11 starts. ERA of 6. I tell you what, this might be a form finder, this game. Let's hope those numbers are not misleading in any way, shape, or form. Let's get this thing underway with designated hitter Griff McGear at the plate. He's not the best fielder, so it gives us, with a designated hitter, it gives us a chance to put uh, Soto in and, and at, at shortstop, shift uh, Mauricio around a second, and still have uh, McGee Griff McGear's bat. So... That's why they have designated hitters, isn't it? Perfectly for things like that. But unfortunately for us there, Griff has got us underway with a bit of a fly ball. So that is one away. Uh, and we will go again here. We are now have Ronnie Mauricio to the plate. What's he got for us? He lays down a bunt. It's not the best bunt we've ever seen. And I'm not sure that's what was needed with Mauricio because I don't think he's the quickest. Uh, so Chevron Newton comes in. Now, Morlock is due to come back in the next day or two. Uh, but Chevron Newton has really, really taken his chance. He's done kind of what I think we thought, uh, some of in the comments, that he probably needs to play day in, day out to, to sort of get, get himself going. Um, and he has sort of, look at that infield defense. That looks, that's more like it, isn't it? Um, so hopefully, you know, having given him that chance, he's, he's, he, well, he is taking it. So uh, it gives us a little bit of a problem with what we do with when Morlock comes back. Because Morlock sort of has to come back in because he's just been lighting up the league with his bat. Uh, but it does make it a little bit, a little bit difficult to, with what to do with Newton. Uh, now this, uh, their centre fielder, he's got a hit. I think we have actually looked at trading for Schnell, but they wanted. Um, if he's the centre fielder, we'll find out. As if you'll say over here, won't it? Um, over here. Yeah, we have actually been looking at trading for him, but they want uh, they want a bit too much. They want sort of one of our one of our stars for him, and I'm not going to give up that. And that is. A very, very good hit against the shift, and it just might score a run there, you know. It is going to score at least one. No, they're holding him at third. Hoffman, who has been brilliant, apparently doesn't like playing on YouTube. This is not what we want. Runners at second and third. One out. We really need a strikeout here of Alejandro Pai. We do strike him out. All right, that gives us a way out of the innings now. Come on, Nolan. Finish it off here, mate. Come on. Oh, it's a full count. 
Oh, it's a hit. It's gotten through. It's going to score one. Will it score two? Get it in, Benintendi. Get it into the plate. No, it's scored two. Oh, why do I come back on YouTube? We do okay, and then we start coming back, and we just play like clowns again, and that's another hit. Hoffman, I give you the big build-up before this one. And what are you doing to me? It's another double. It's a two-out double. And... Yeah. Hoffman, come on, please. Come on. You're better than this. You've been really good for us all year. That's been popped up. Ben and Tendi should get into that. And he does. And a very disappointing first innings, I've got to say. Hopefully, we will bounce back from that very, very quickly. Legend to the plate. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, he's hit that. That's two to one. Go on, legend. That's huge. Hey, <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. We're just giving them a false sense of security. Ninth home run for legend. 405 feet. That's gone. It's two to one. And legend is just beginning to live up to his name. He's really, really kicked on his batting average. Uh, what's he up to now with that home run? Almost back to 250. So, he's, yeah, he's kicking on nicely. Now we just need Ben and Tendi to start doing something similar. Come on, mate. He finished last year so strong. He walks. That's fine. We will take that. Uh, and are we now seeing their pitcher revert back to what we were kind of expecting from him? Uh, that's a double play from Hester. Well done. Not Hester. What's his name? Hura. Keston Hura. Hester. That's where that came from. Suzuki strides in. Now, he has fallen off form a little bit. Uh, since his wonderful start to the season. There's a strikeout. Well, we got a run back. And then it kind of went a little bit wrong from there, didn't it? But that's all right. All right, Hoffman. Come on. Let's see something proper from you now, please. That's been crushed down the third base line to Newton. He doesn't have a play, it looks like. So it is a leadoff single. Um, I don't know why we're so, so far up there. But anyway, he's got a little bit of pace on him at first base. That's not ideal. Come on, Hoffman. Come on, mate. They've gone for the steal, and we're nowhere near getting him out. None out. Runner at second. And, yeah, it, you just you just start to worry a little bit here. So they catch her at the plate. We don't have a pitching slot, obviously, to kind of, as a, as a softer out. Uh, he's going to go. Oh, we're going to nail him down. Look at that throw from Seiya Suzuki. Not even close. And that is that cleans the bases for us. Well done. It's two out, and Hoffman just finishes up for us now, please. Nice and quickly. Come on, Hoffman. Straight to Soto. Soto over to Hura, and that is the end of the second innings. Well, in the end, we did okay there, didn't we? It was a bit of a... a it, was an, it was an infield hit. It wasn't a bit of an infield hit. Uh, and then, yeah, problem solved. Castillo uh, is in for this one. Of course, uh, Alvarez has just got, he's got a little bit of fatigue going on, so we're resting him for this one. Uh, a lefty up against a right-handed pitcher kind of made sense to do it today. Here we go with Soto. He's done okay. He's very much a backup. He's hit that relatively well, but it's not. It's too high, isn't it? It's going to be caught out there in center field by Schnell. And it brings us back to the top of the order with Griff McGear. And what can he do at 0-2? I think I know what's coming. No, he's got it back up the middle, but it's been popped up. And that is going to end the innings for us. And we are still 2-1 down as we go to the bottom of the third. Um, yeah, Nick Schnell to lead us off. Now, we know Hoffman doesn't have... Oh, that's a good pitch. A good uh, curveball there from Hoffman. We know he doesn't have the best stamina. Uh, he's at, was at 35. So, you know, we're not going to get too much more out of him. If we can get usually four or five innings, we've done well. Uh, and then we have someone like Ekhorn or Jovan or Ayala to hopefully come out of the bullpen and kind of get the other sort of three innings of the of the, of the the perfect start, I guess. Alejandro Pai comes in. He's 75 power. He knows how to hit a ball, doesn't he? Come on. There we go. All right. There we go. That's a nice, quick, stress-free innings. Thank you very much for that, Hoffman. I needed that. All right. Let's go with Mauricio now. Come on, mate. He's hit that down the first baseline, but it doesn't beat the first baseman. And that is a quick out for our first out. Brings Chevron Newton back to the plate. 0 for 1 so far today. Come on, mate. He's hit that. He's hit that really, really well into the gap. Well done, Chevron Newton. That should be at least a double. Is there a chance of a triple? No, he slides into second. But a one-out double from Chevron Newton. That is what we like. And that will bring up now home run hitting hero Legend from the first innings. Let's see what he can do here for us. Come on, Legend. What's he got? He's hit that. Well, it can't be a double play, but it is It is definitely one. It does get Newton to third. And it will give Ben and Tendi a chance to drive in an RBI. He's not, as I said, he's not had a great season so far. Ben and Tendi, he's hit that. It's not going to find the grass, though, is it? No. 
unlucky, unlucky. Another day, another time that could that could have uh, been the, the sort of contact that drew, drove in the equalising run there, but it wasn't to be. We go to the bottom of the fourth. This was probably Hoffman's last, unless it's a quick innings. That should be caught out there by Suzuki in right field, and it is. That's one away. How's he looking? Oh, we might we might get a fifth innings out of him if this is quick. Come on, strike him out, son. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Um, and oh, and Eckhorn comes in now. All right, so that's a maybe a disappointing start. Two runs through four and, a th and two thirds. But Eckhorn comes in, as I said, pitcher of the month, National League pitcher of the month last month. Let's hope he continues that form. That's a strikeout. There we go. All right. All right. We just need to get our bats going now. Pitching is looking a lot stronger after that first innings. All right. It's Hura. He steps in. What's he got for us? He's hit it straight to shortstop, and that is going to be... Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, he beats it. Nicely done. Keston Hura with the wheels up the first baseline. A leadoff single for Suzuki to hopefully not hit into a double play. He's going to be first pitch swinging. He has popped that up, though, and that is not what we needed. What happened to this guy's 2.2... Was it 2.02 whip? Um, we're not seeing that, are we? Which is disappointing. Here we go now with Del Castillo. Del Castillo strikes out. And Miguel Soto strides in with two out. Can he keep this innings going? Oh, Miguel Soto! It's three to two! Hey! He's nothing but a backup. He's a defensive jam, but he smashed that one. Two, what, 422 feet. And that gives us the lead. Unlucky for Hoffman that he doesn't. He's not in line for the win here. It will be an Akron win uh, should, uh, should we manage to hang on here. But... I mean, that'll be his ninth win of the year. Here we go again with Griff. Griff gets a good hit. Oh, and Griff has driven it into the gap, and that should be another double with two out. He might. He's not the quickest, but he might stretch out to a triple if he's lucky. No, he belly flops into second, and that is another hit. All right, is this guy tiring, and are we able to take full advantage of this? It's Ronnie Mauricio now. Runner in scoring position. Come on, Ronnie. Ronnie, oh, that's going to score another one. This is what we expected to see from this pitch. Absolutely hopelessness. And that is an RBI double for Mauricio. Griff comes around to score. It's 4-2. to two, And I dare say this might be the end of their pitcher. Do they make the pitching change? No, they don't. He's got stamina of 75. He can go for ages. So we can keep going with this. It's Chevron Newton's turn now. Can he drive in a run? Oh, can he? Is it going to go over the left fielder's head? Oh, no. It's a decent catch out there in the end. Unlucky for Newton, but three runs, we take the lead, four to two, that's more like it, and this is the guy that's really quick, isn't it, Ma Mate, oh, he's hit that, a legend should have that covered, yes, he does, decent catch out there in the end, nicely done, legend, it brings up the catch up, the face Eckhorn, that's a little grubber, that should be easy enough, Eckhorn over to, oh, Hayura, is it a bad throw, or is it a, an error, uh, it's wild. It's a rush throw. Eckhorn has let himself down there with the error. It puts a runner at second. Only one out. Come on, Brian. Make up for that, mate. That would have been a double play. Hold the runner at second. Over to first. And we make the play that time. All right. Two down. Hopefully, we'll be able to work our way around that error. Here comes Nick Schnell. One for two so far. He's got a hit on that. It should be easy enough. Mauricio over to Hira. Two hands to Hira. There we go. We get around the error. Nicely done, boys. We're looking okay right now, aren't we? We go to the sixth. 4-2 up, and it's Legend to lead us off. Nunemeyer still on the mound. Come on, Legend. Come on, mate. He's got it down towards first base, but it's not going to find its way through, and that is the first out of this top of the sixth. Benintendi now. Benintendi 0 for 1. He did get a walk, but we need him to start hitting as well. It's another walk. That's fine, mate. That is fine. Get yourself on base, and I'm okay with it, but I would like some hits at some point. Now, he can steal. Can wonderful work him around, or will Hero hit into a double play? He's, oh, he's tried his best into a double play. He's actually got it over the shortstop's head. Ben and Tendi, look at him flying. Never a thought of stopping at second. Runners at the corners with one out, and Suzuki with a chance to add to his 26 RBIs this season. And they walk him to load the bases. Is this Del Castillo that's up now, I think? It is Del Castillo with a loaded bases, one out. Just don't hit into a double play here, mate. It might walk him. It's a full count. He's hit into a double play. Oh, well, they don't. They get the... They get the... They stop the run. But... It doesn't... 
it doesn't get the double play for second, then I was really mad and a little bit concerned. It's Miguel Soto. He did hit a home run last time out. He can add to his two RBIs here. Come on, mate. He's got it back up the middle. Yes, he has. What a game from Miguel Soto. That is four RBIs for him. A two RBI double, a single, sorry. And that is six to two. And now they make the pitching change. Uh, so in the end, we did get we did get what we wanted out of their pitcher, didn't we? We got the six uh, six runs through his ERA, probably a little bit more, obviously, because it's not nine innings. Um, maybe we didn't get the base runs we would have liked, but that's all right. We've got the runs, and that's what matters. Here we go with Griff with two out. Can he get some more runs across the plate? No, he cannot. He strikes out. And that is another successful innings, you've got to say. Five runs in the last two inning, um, and Eckhorn to continue here and hopefully consolidate this lead for us. Strikes out the leadoff man. Nicely done, Mr. Eckhorn. It brings up Alejandro Pye. He's batting 196, but he does have 13 home runs. So he obviously has a bit of danger about him. That is straight to Soto. Soto should make a simple play over to Hester. I did it again. Hura. Keston Hura. That's two away. It's JJ Blede. He is one for two with two RBIs. So he's hit in there two runs. Obviously, with two RBIs, that's what that means, isn't it? There we go. That should end the innings. It does. And again, as I said, have disappointing first innings. But since then, we've looked pretty strong, I've got to say. Uh, we go now with Mauricio to lead us off. One and two. What's he got for us? He strikes out. This new guy looks uh, looks a lot better. He's got decent stuff, decent movement. Not the best control, though. Stamina. He's just a reliever, isn't he? He's just a solid reliever. Chevron Newton now at 0-2. Oh I fear a strikeout again. Oh, no, Chevron Newton back up the middle. He gets himself another hit. You can see what I mean about how he's really, really developing. He's really coming on strong, being sort of a starting player in the lineup. And it does beg the question, what do we do when Morlock comes back? We can't not play Morlock, but both of them can really only play uh, third base. So, yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a good problem to have, but it is a big problem. Oh, Benintendi, no. I thought he might have got it one through there, but he doesn't. And that ends the innings. We stretch with a nice four-run lead. It's not... I mean, we can still throw it away. It's not unbeatable, but it's solid, isn't it? All right, we go again. Brian Eckhorn to lead us off. Up against Alex Green. And he beams him. That's not really what we needed, to be honest. Uh, I mean, that brings on Bobby Nichols now. Now, we saw Bobby Nichols give up. I thought I put him into Triple A. Who did I put down to Triple A then? Oh, I know. I sent down uh, Antoine Harris because we weren't using him with his 21 and a half ERAs. <laughs> I just put him back down the AAA. That's right. Bobby Nichols, is he going to stuff it up yet again? He's doing his best, isn't he? That is a huge hit. That is going to score one. It ruins... Oh, no, it doesn't. It holds... They hold him at, uh, at first. It could be about to ruin Ekhorn's uh, zero runs conceded here, or uh, run, zero earned runs. Nichols, mate, you, if you do this again to me, I'm, I'm, I am going to send you down the AAA. That is another hit, and Bobby Nichols, pack your bags, mate. You're going to Syracuse. I don't know who we're calling up yet, but it will be somebody. Uh, he's about to ruin ruin himself here for me. Uh, what's his ERA? Where are we over here? ERA of 401. Yeah, you're done, mate. Enjoy this. It's your last game for the Mets for a little while. Can we throw the runner down at second? No, we cannot. That is unlucky for him. Uh, all right, we need we need to start getting out here because we've got the tying run at the plate. There we go. All right, Bobby, thank you. Now, let's just get two more of those, please. Come on. Oh, oh I think Legend's going to catch it. Now, is his arm strong enough? It, I don't think he has a bullet. He's, no, he's going to try and stop the run, but he's not going to get close. It's six to four. There is two out. But we, this, obviously, we need to get this out because we don't want to get back to 6-5, to five, do we? Is our bullpen going to let us down yet again? He's walked him. Bobby, if you don't want to go down to friggin' double A and binging him, you will finish this for us. And he does. All right. I mean, we can see we can see sort of a weak, the weak point here, can't we? The thing is, Bobby Nichols, where is he? Uh, oh, he's not going to show up, is he? He's not the worst... Maybe he's just in a bad run of form. All right, Hura at the plate. Can we get some of these insurance runs back? That's a three-pitch strikeout. That's not ideal. Suzuki now, he steps in. He's 0 for 2 today. He's got a full count on him here. Can he do something with this? He does draw the walk. All right, runner to first. It's Del Castillo who comes in. Now, he is 0 for 3 today. He's not had a great day. He's not had a great season at the plate. There's a new pitcher in to face him. What can he do? Come on, Del Castillo. He looked, when they when we first caught up the two young catchers, he looked 
the better option, didn't he? But he's really, really struggled this second season, and Alvarez has kicked on. It's Soto, who is two for three with four RBIs. I mean, he's he's done his share, hasn't he? But can he do it again for us? Is that going to get down? No, it's not. And it's going to end the eight. It's six to four, and Nichols comes back out. Now, if we have a quick... This is a good chance to have a look at Nichols, isn't it? He's not the worst. He's changed up, could do a little bit of work, but he's not... He's just... He was okay. He was good last year. I mean, he was really good last year. Whip of just over one, ERA of 260. This year, he's just been absolutely horrid. So maybe it is just a run of bad form, but he's got to refine this form very, very quickly. That is another base hit. All right, here... Uh, what's, what's our manager's name? I forget his name. I think it's Hierro or something, isn't it? You've got to get him out of this game, man. We've got to get him out. It's not. This is unacceptable. Let's bring in the closers, please. There we go. Villainess. All right. We can usually rely on Villainess. It's three and one here, though. This is making me a little bit nervous. Come on, Stephen. That's going to score a run, I want to say. No, it's not. Excellent. All right. Come on, Stephen. Get yourself together. None out. Runners at the corners. The tying runners are bored here. Come on, Villainess. That is... Oh, it's gotten through. Oh, and suddenly I feel a little bit sick. It was looking so good, and our bullpen has really, really let us down today. Eckhorn was brilliant. Hoffman was relatively good, and that's going to tie it up. That might even give him the lead. What is going on? It's going to give them the lead. It might. It's, no, it's not. They're holding him at third. It's a one-run game, and it should have been... What was it? it felt like five minutes ago I was saying that should be comfortable. We're more than capable of throwing it away, and here we are, throwing it away. There's none out. We're going we're gonna to end up behind. We're going to enter the top of the night behind and needing runs to win a game that we should have had in the bag. Ayala comes in now. He's been uh, hit and miss at best. Come on, Louis Ayala. Show us why you're the young prospect. Oh, and that's that's the game. I am so angry. How... You, you mean, look where Eckhorn went off. See if you can pick it. Unbelievable. We're 8-6 down. We're still 9 out. This game is going to get taken away from us. Can we do something there? We're the 9 out. We're not even going to get it out. We're not even going to get it out. Oh, am I about to lose my temper for the first time on YouTube? Get a friggin' guy out. Oh, for f sake. Come on. I cannot believe... We, uh, Five runs in the eighth, and there's still none out. This is that's six runs, and they're still counting. Brian Garcia comes in now. Let's give everybody else a go. You've everybody else had a go. Why don't you have a crack at it, Brian? Come on. Makes no difference. Still none out. Twelve to six. Eight runs in the eighth innings. We've given up to eight, ten runs in the last two innings. That is, that is not professional sports. I'm sorry. That is absolutely disgusting. I don't even care, mate. I don't even care that you're striking out. I'm so angry. I'm so, so angry. I cannot believe what our bullpen has done to us here. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to just release them all. Is that a home run? I think Ben Benintendi might have it. He does. And a disastrous eighth innings comes to an end. We just need the six, boys. That's all. Is Griff going to get us a leadoff walk? He hits it. I tell you what, he might get a leadoff double. All right, come on, boys. If they can get eight, we can get eight. Come on. It's going to be a triple, isn't it? No, it must be a ground rule double. Uh, I don't know what's happened there, but it's a double anyway. All right, Mauricio. We just need about ten more hits like that, please. Mauricio gets it down the first baseline. It gets Griff to third, but we need more than one run, so it doesn't really help us that much. Uh, we need base runners. Chevron Newton, he's had a decent day. Two for four. Can he keep that going? No, he cannot. It is going to score a run. Uh, oh, wait. There's an error. All right. Are they going to throw this away? Runner to second. Maybe, you know, maybe they will. Maybe they will. That's fine. It's it's 12 to seven. It's a legend. If he can get himself on base, you just never know. Legend. No, he's popped it up. Just for a wonderful second, I thought he might have driven it into the gap. But that's two away. We're down to our final out. We only need the five runs. Benintendi is in horrible, horrible form. This could be it. 
Uh, he's hit it relatively well again, but it's up in the air. It's going to be caught. And we have snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Go, Matt. So there we go. A devastating defeat. Had we won that game, we would have gone joint top with the Braves. But we stay a game back. Um... We're going to have to do something about this bullpen. And look... Okay, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking Bobby Nichols, we send him down. Because that's that's unacceptable what he did. I'm thinking Louis Ayala, he's a youngster. He's not had a good year. ERA over five. That's not helping anybody keeping him in. Um, so I think we send him down. We just called Ayala... Uh, no, sorry. We just called uh, Kenyon uh, Yeoman back up. So we'll leave him. Uh, we'll give him a little bit of a chance. Um... Villanez in that setup role is not really working out, if I'm honest. He's, he's better off his middle relief, I think. Ishmael Aguri has just been an absolute disaster. I really wish I could undo that trade. The question is, who do we call up? Do we give McKemble another chance out of the bullpen? He's doing okay. He's not really doing that. He's not setting AAA alight, is he? Uh, let's go to Syracuse, actually, and just have a look at what we have pitching-wise there. Um... Who is who's doing a good job? Robert Kalina is doing a decent enough job. Whip of under one, two seventy. So I think he comes into the bullpen, doesn't he? He's a good age, two at twenty four. So I think Kalina comes in. Um, Riley Gillum is doing a decent job. Maybe we call he was he came up last year. Was was he last year or the year before? Two years ago. So he's doing a decent job. Maybe we bring him in as well. Uh, 189 and a decent whip as well. He's, he's, uh, this is his first year in Triple A's, and maybe a little bit too soon for Ika. Another young player, though. Um, and that's what we have. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I, I do think something needs to change in this bullpen because it's not good enough. Trey Cobb is another one that's that's done decent for us in the past. So, let me know. I'm thinking Ayala has to come down, and I'm thinking Nichols has to come down. Are we looking perhaps at maybe Kalina and, I don't know, Kalina and Cobb to come up maybe? That's maybe what I'm thinking, Kalina and Cobb. But let me know what you think. Cobb's got a bit of a high whip though, doesn't he? Uh, maybe we'll, do we get, see, Antoine Harris, they weren't, we weren't using him. You know, it's the manager's lost faith in him. He needs some time down. He's come back down and he's, he's, he's lighting it up again. Well, he's, actually, he's not. His whip's good, but his ERA is shocking. It's I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Who do we? How do we fix this bullpen of ours? But anyway, that's it for today. Until next time, guys. Open Aussie on. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will come back. We've got to get back to the Met schedule, though, don't we? We will come back. Uh, I'm thinking. Let's come back maybe for this Miami series. When's the All Star game? Uh, or when's the next? There's the international free agent signing the second. So that's that day. Okay, so what about if we come back for this Boston game? Uh, we can do the Boston game. So we get... Because Boston are the, are the best team in baseball right now, aren't they? Uh, so we can do the Boston game. Yeah, they are definitely the best team in baseball. So that'll be a really good test. I think Blue is still there. No, Blue moved on, didn't he? Anyway, we'll get to play the best team in baseball. We'll get to do international free agents as well. See who we can sign if there's any superstars there. Uh, and that's all for next time, guys. I'm sorry about that game. I'm really angry. I'm sure you are as well. Uh, but I'll see you next time. Take care.